The best parts of me always came from living life on life's terms. They never came from a pep talk. They never came from a pat on the back. They came from what I did to serve myself, not to look good, not to brag about myself, but only from the ambition that was inside myself. This is life on life's terms. See, and this was a path I almost never decided to walk. It was a path that I wanted to avoid. I always wanted the easier, the softer way. See, I always wanted something for nothing. I always wanted the quick fix. I wanted what I thought would make me feel good immediately. I wanted it given to me. I wanted to experience all the glory without the inevitable pain that comes with experience. See, in my life, I've been blessed to have the masks removed. My covers pulled off. The plan that was supposed to go perfectly on that great road of life hit dead ends, hit walls. It was not what I planned. It was not what I wanted. And see, in this, I gained strength. I gained confidence. I gained integrity. I gained my own personal peace. Not because I was allowed to get what my pain told me would make me feel better, the alleviation of my discomfort, the things, the wants, the fulfillments that I thought would make me happy. It was because I was able to sit into that very pain, that very discomfort, those things that life gave me, that I was able to find the power within, the thing that we're all searching for, that I was able to find my own empowerment, my own confidence. And see, I wonder if that's something that we're all dying to have, but we're missing that fundamental tool, the ability to see other people living through pain, discomfort, tragedy, and find themselves within it. Whereas instead we're shown a world where we can distract ourselves from our pain, get what we want, be happy, find confidence just by showing it, just by faking it, just by convincing other people that we don't know that we're good. See, what I see in the personal development world is men and women being told over and over again, they can get what they want. They don't need to be in pain. They can get the quick fix. They can hack their way into happiness and they can live a life which is guaranteed to create unhappiness for us, but they're told the opposite. See, I can only hope that life delivers you what it delivered me, but sadly, there's so many places in our world where we're allowed to distract ourselves. We're allowed to not see the reality in front of us. We have a world where we're allowed and we're encouraged to distract ourselves and fake our lives. We can feel good when we're not good. We can seem like good people when we're not good people. Because of this, we will never learn the great lesson of life on life's terms. We can never live the reality of who we really are. We're allowed to feel good, we're allowed to look good, well, we live a lie. And this is one of the great pains of our culture. This is something that we'll have to work out through our evolutions of communication, our modern technologies. This will be one of the great struggles that we have in order to find happiness in this modern world. See, we have so many advances in our world, so many great technologies, so many things that keep us alive, allow us to live so much better. Yet these technologies are spearheaded by the dysfunctions of our culture. They're spearheaded by the pain of a culture which is terrified to look at oneself to live in its own reality.
See, and this is one of the things I encourage you to do. I encourage you to explore yourself. I encourage you to look at living in your life in reality. There's been no shortage of this throughout history. The path to peace, the path to self-knowledge, the path to knowing who you are has always been the same. That has not changed. Whether you find that through meditation, whether you find that through journaling, whether you find that through self-exploration, journeying the depth within yourself, that path has always been the same. And if we are going to take our modern technologies, if we are going to take our ways of navigating the world better, transportation, communication, and bonding this world more and more as one giant ecosystem of socializing. Now more than ever, we need to be able to find peace within ourselves. See, if we go back to the beginning of this, life on life's terms, the best parts of me never came from a pat on my back. They never came from an easy buy. They came from me serving a part of myself. And what part of myself am I serving? Where am I serving it? Am I seeking a higher mind? Am I seeking a better version of myself? Or have I polluted those parts of me? Have I polluted the very things which make me function, which evolution gave me, which biology gave me? See, I've been coaching men for 16 years now, and the masculinity that I teach is one that can only exist in reality. We teach within a community, and within that community, we're not perfect, but we're men that seek a higher purpose, and we live that way. This higher self is set by a standard. It is set by a standard that is within you, that is not defined by a world around you, that is not defined by the hysteria or the chatter of what a man is supposed to be or what a woman is supposed to be. It is set by who you are, and if you are going to be who you are, you must seek tirelessly for the knowledge outside of yourself to find the great knowledge within yourself. And what I teach and in my communities, we do not devalue ourselves by denying our pain, by denying our reality, but accepting the responsibility and owning our reality of where we are at now so that we can step forward as men, as who we are, as human beings into a world that we own as our own so that we can have our human experience. And we do all of this while the cultural message says we don't have to face our fears. We can blame society, we can blame women, we can blame men, we can blame a cause that is a thousand miles away or at our doorstep for not having to be ourselves. This is one of the worst things that we can bring to social change, is to bring in our own pollution into a social movement that could remove the pain from so many people within our society. Yet we don't clean ourselves first. To be a great man, to be a great woman, you live life on life's terms. You don't get to change the game. You live life and how it was given to you. And in that, you find your happiness and peace. Thank you so much for watching. These meditations, these little thoughts that I have come from posts that I put on Instagram daily. They're daily meditations which come directly from my coaching and work with men. I've been doing that for the last 16 years and if it's something that you'd like to get involved in and actually live this philosophy, I can recommend two courses for you. The first is The Rising Man, and that's a great place for men who want to better their lives, who want to get started in a way that they look at their mind, their body, their social life, their sexual life, their purpose and their ambition in an organic way and in a structured way so that they can live excellent lives. It works, it's been around forever. We work out of a community. The Rising Man is your best starting place and there's links down below. But if you're a man that really wants to take it to the next level, that wants to be in a community of other men that live, eat, and breathe their personal excellence, men who are not perfect, but are working daily, 24 seven, in a community that pushes themselves as well as they push themselves into being their best self, 
that's men's development excellence. Both courses, you will work directly with me within that community. You'll get great access to a number of things. However, with men's development excellence, there's a lot more access and there's just a world of difference in terms of the content that you get. I appreciate you watching, like, share, pass on the good message and live an excellent life. It's something that's absolutely doable within our society. If you're not living where you wanna be, find somebody, find something. If you don't find trust or good faith in myself where you can change and live your best possible you. Thanks for watching.